setting the limits on the TQL25 battery motor it is all done off the handset. So whether it's if so if it's up high the blind you can still do it all off the handset. So okay, I'm going to set the top first and then the bottom limit. So at the moment I'm using again, I'm using the uh, the YR2112 handset. I'm not happy with that position, so I'm just going to drive it up a little bit. Just a little bit there. So and you'll always find when, that when a, uh, a brand new motor, uh, they come in what they call dead man's mode, uh, which means basically the, the, the motor will drive and it'll stop a sort of every inch. And the idea is it's to protect the blind so it doesn't twist out of its brackets or anything like that if it goes too far. But once the limits have been set, uh, then it'll be it'll be fine. It goes automatically between the two positions. OK, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go for that position. So what we do is on the back of the handset, I go and press the program button, click hold it. I'm going to set the up direction. So I press the up button as well. And now I'm waiting for a response from the motor. There we go. Now what I can do is I can fine tune that position. I can use the side buttons. You can see it's like a you can get it millimeter perfect. It's really good. I'm happy with that position. And now to lock it in, all I do is I go to the back of the handset again. And if you see it on the head of the motor, you hold that until the light goes off, which it has. It gives you a little nod, a little shunt to show you that. Okay, so let's drive it down now. I mean, when it's in dead man's mode, you can actually hold the down button and it'll keep on going. So for the purposes of the video, I'm going to say that that's, that's my bottom limit. So the procedure is the same again. You press and hold the program button in the back of the handset. But because this is the bottom limit or the down limit, then we, we're going to press the down button. So press it, click, press the down button, both together. And we're waiting for a response from the motor. Okay, now I'm in learning mode. I can fine tune it a little bit, take it up a little bit. Just it. I'm happy with that position. To lock it in, I press the program button in the back of the handset on its own. The motor responds, and now the blind will be completely automatic. I'll press it once and let go, and it will drive between the both the uh, positions.